degrees and Celsius when it's 100% low or when it's low. Why? Because um, I was running a lot of processors at 90 uh, degrees Celsius. Even this one I was running at 4.2 gigahertz at 90 degrees Celsius it fully loaded. It was 92 and I was running it like for a year. Nothing happened to the processor. So when people saying, oh, it's it's unsafe and stuff, uh, I would say up to 100, 100 Celsius, a little bit lower than 100 Celsius, it's absolutely safe. And I don't care what people are saying, I just test it on my reality. Alright, so, and what I'm going to do now, for the particular CPU, I don't like to run. Uh, uh, okay, let me let me show you. For the particular CPU for the E eighty four hundred, you can set to four gigahertz, and it's about the max for this CPU uh, to run it stable. For for this CPU, for particular CPU that in my case, I tested, and it's C one uh, C one uh, revision uh, of the CPU. I heard the latest revision overclocks even better. So to overclock it, I'm going to 450, and it's going to give me 4 gigahertz or 4,000 megahertz, as you can see on the front side bus. And I'm adjusting the uh, my memory clock speed lower than 1333 megahertz because my manufacturing memory is designed to run at 1333. All right and uh, so uh, I'm having the 4 uh, gigahertz like this but let me go ahead and click F10 but I don't like the settings like this I don't like the 450 megahertz in front side bus and I'm gonna, when we're gonna put in back to the bias I'm gonna explain to you why for this CPU and for any CPU there is two different ways to get the uh, high uh, overclock maximum uh, what is designed for the maximum your CPU for your cooling in two different ways we are at the 4 gigahertz right now ways number one just have the higher multiplier and raise your mul uh, frequency at the speed that's gonna max out your CPU which is 4 gigahertz CPU core speed 4000 megahertz or 4 gigahertz, right? Or very, uh, step number two, uh, or another example uh, which I like the best on the overclocking, another uh, version of the overclocking. It's when you have when you setting your clock FSB as high as possible to get to that um, target core speed and to the 4000 megahertz and but you're gonna say hey if you're gonna set a little bit higher you're gonna go higher on the core speed you're gonna go 4.1 as you can see right now and it's probably not gonna be stable yes and I would like to set it to 500 megahertz on front side bus and it's gonna give me 4.5 and 4.5 on my air cooling it's not it's impossible for this CPU so you're gonna tell me and um, you can what you're gonna do and I will let you know that I need to set my clock ratio one step down multiplier one step down and unlock the higher front side bus if my motherboards is a loss uh, some motherboards will stock at 433 megahertz and some motherboards uh, like in 4600 and 4700 x48 chipset from Intel uh, P45 from Intel will give you ability to go up to 500 megahertz and uh, about 500 megahertz is going to be the max everything else I'm not suggesting you to run it because it's going to be probably unstable so as you can see I received the perfect uh, 4 gigahertz and my memory went to perfect speed as well which is 100 uh, 33 megahertz when things like this happens 
one divider is absolute perfect um, for the memory means that to keep the CPU stable is, is um, easy than when your memory is not it's like it's not perfect it's like 1266 or 1215 or uh, 1186 megahertz uh, but to keep your memory at the perfect uh, ratio divider uh, with your uh, front side bus uh, means that it's going to give you a st very easy and stable overclock just to make sure that you have the right voltage and uh, that's exactly uh, what it's going to be stable for and I'm going to click F10 what he asked. I'm going to think a, lot, a little bit and it's going to be booting my um, system. And I'm going to go to the BIOS and I'm going to explain to you when your motherboard allows you to run that high frequency on the front side BIOS on the FSB, what you need to do. It's a 4 gigahertz right now. You need to go um, if you want to run at 500 megahertz, you need to make sure that in the CPU, in the uh, all voltage control or voltage control by manually, you need to set your nurse bridge voltage setting by just one step up or two steps up on the voltage from the um, automatic um, defaults. Because the nurse bridge it's going to control and it's going to tell you um, how to um, it's going to give you the stability from for the front side bus and what is noise bridge? noise bridge is a little chip that inside of your motherboard it's like, like, located close to the CPU socket which in those days cover also by the heat sink and what it does it controls uh, the PCI Express, PCI, uh, memory uh, video card and sending that uh, information to the CPU and back and forth so it's like a communication bridge it's a main communication bridge we also have the south bridge but south bridge doesn't doesn't use a lot at those days it's the slowest bridge as possible it's slower at the speed than north bridge and what it controls it controls the flop it used to control the floppies AGP uh, what else? Um, floppies, AGPs, um, then uh, EDI, SATA, PETA, uh, mass storage devices, and CD-ROM, and stuff like this, and the USBs. So uh, I would suggest you to keep solid bridge voltage at the normal settings as it is, and maybe sometimes when the overclocking is extreme at the high speeds um, bumping by one step up alright there is some other settings in here and uh, if you have the North Bridge GTL um, North Bridge GTL reference it's uh, went after the gunning uh, the guy gunning guy his last name was gunning and I believe first name was uh, William uh, uh, gunning uh, which works for the Xerox and it was his theory to send a more uh, to s uh, send more signal s signaling uh, more with the voltage uh, between the chips uh, to uh, process and post um, more information between them and that's how he used for the Xerox copiers and Intel just took it and um, they have the GTL plus GTL or in the newest processors even they have the A GTL plus technologies but anyways just go by one in the GTL reference voltage and uh, uh, CPU GTL reference voltage you can go by one everywhere is here as well um, it's designed for the quad core as you can see for the four CPUs but I'm not sure which one is going to be which one so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set by one step on each one. Or some motherboard is going to have the voltage here instead of step. So just go one step. 
on the voltage uh, for the stability and it's gonna bring you this table uh, 4 gigahertz at 500 megahertz on front side bus and why I like the 500 megahertz in front side bus versus 450 because the higher the front side bus 